All right, well, you've heard of two sport athletes, but what about a trader who's also an athlete? CNBC Sports business reporter Darren Ravel has the story of the guy who's got it all. Pretty cool story. You know, you heard it all. Bo Jackson, Deion Sanders. you got to watch out. There's this kid named Greg Pizer who's playing two, and we're pretty sure this combination has never been done before. Greg Pizer knows what it's like to make trades, but unlike most investment bankers, he also knows what it's like to get traded. And here's the ball by Greg Pizer. This 23-year-old works at a bank in New York, but he's also a player in the National Lacrosse League. Compared to you know my my job, my my real job um, on Wall Street, I'd, I'd say that. You know, it's just the two don't really correlate other than the fact that it is competitive and you always have to be on your feet and you always have to be thinking. Pizer gets into the office at 6 a.m. and leaves at 6 p.m. Then it's off to practice. It keeps me active playing after, after work. It, it allows me to, to release a little bit of uh, my daily aggressions. Lacrosse season runs from January through April, but Pizer doesn't have to miss much work. Games are usually played on weekends. And while a junior trader earns fifty to seventy-five thousand dollars on Wall Street, playing defenseman for the New York Titans helps pay the bills. A rookie like Pizer averages seven thousand dollars for four months of work. Well, I do have a rent to pay every month, um, but you know it's it's more of a hobby, I'd say, than than anything. I mean, I I couldn't imagine not playing. I've played my whole life. As for what's more challenging, Pizer chooses the street over the field. The transition between, um, you know, school to my my job as a trader, absolutely 100%, a drastic, drastic, just lifestyle change, and um, much, much more competitive and, and harder than anything I've done in the lacrosse field. And that season ends this Saturday, so you can get back to uh, one job. Wow, that's a great story. All right, Darren Rovell, thanks very much, and thanks to all of you for watching. It's time for the closing bell.